Hey, what's going on, people? I hope y'all are doing good. Today, we're wishing everyone a very Merry Govi Christmas by taking a look at several new additions to Govi's growing smart appliance collection. You can see them back there. If you don't know, Govi is a manufacturer that makes affordable smart lighting solutions ranging from light bulbs, strips, wall decor, and more. They also started getting into the smart appliance space more and more, and I love to see it because the more competition we have, the better it is for the consumer. I'm a big fan of Govi. I have one of their smart floor lamps in my office, and I recently purchased a Govi smart floor fan for my master bedroom that's been extremely solid. I can't recommend it enough. The items we're looking at today will make great last minute gifts, but also they're perfect additions to any household as we head into the colder months. Let's start with the first set of products, which are Gobi's new smart space heaters. We have three different ones coming in at three different price points for different budgets. We have the smart space heater max, smart space heater pro, and the smart space heater light. Let's start with what makes these three similar. Each one features a smart thermostat on board that includes a sensor which provides functionality for temperature monitoring. It's pretty basic. This can be upgraded by pairing each one with Govi's thermal hygrometer that provides even more accurate ambient temperature readings without manual adjustments via something called auto reflect. They all utilize 1500 watt PTC ceramic heating technology that can heat 200 square feet or more depending on the unit. This technology also allows each to start heating in two seconds or less. It's really impressive. In terms of safety, they all come equipped with tip over protection, overheat protection, V0 flame retardant, and reinforced safety plugs. Lastly, since each space heater is smart, that means they all connect to the Govi app and can be controlled by your iOS or Android device. They also can connect to different smart home platforms, including Amazon, Apple, Google, or if this, then that. Now let's talk about the differences, beginning with my favorite of the three. This is the Max model, and right off the bat, you can see it has the see-through area on the bottom. This is what Gobi calls the 3D fireplace light. Once connected to the Gobi app, you can adjust it and apply different lighting effects, which adds ambiance to a room to enhance the cozy, warm atmosphere. The top of the heater features a control panel for quickly switching to one of the five modes, setting a timer, turning on and off the oscillating effect, and more. Of course, you can do all of this within the app as well. A few settings that I highly recommend turning on within the app include 24-hour automatic shutdown notification, which alerts you if the unit will be shutting down after it's been running for 24 hours, display temperature on card, which displays the current temperature on the LCD, and if you're going to be using this daily, check out the scheduling option for easy automation for when you come home from work, go to bed, or any other routine that you do daily. You could control the temperature from 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The unit itself is also quiet, operating at less than 45 decibels in low mode. It's really impressive considering how much heat this thing can output. We've been using it outside on our patio since we're starting to get into Florida winter, which means temperatures get in the low 40s and 50s. I know, I know, we're from Florida, leave us alone. On the back, there is a handle for easy moving. Below that, there is a removable filter that can be cleaned with a little water or an air compressor. Just remember to let it completely dry before putting it back in if you decide to use water. Next up, we have the Smart Space Heater Pro. This is the middle ground option. It packs most of the same features as the Max, so rather than just being redundant, I'm going to cover what's different beginning with the design. Unlike the Max, this one does not have a stand, so it can't oscillate. However, it can be used vertically and horizontally thanks to the little feet on the side that flip out. And the vents can be used as an air deflector, which almost replicates an oscillating effect. On the top of the unit, you have a very large, nice tactile power button. On the side, you have the controls for the five different modes, air deflector, nightlight, and timer. Inside the app, you can adjust the speed and range of the air deflector. You can also adjust the night light, which happens to be similar to the floor lamp that I have in my office, also from Gobi. This means you can select a color, scene, or create your own effect under the DIY section. This allows you to really dial in your own personal look, which is pretty cool. As for noise, this unit operates below 40 decibels when in low mode, while still packing plenty of heating power. Personally, this is the one that I would recommend to most people that are looking for a great space heater. Like the Max, the Pro features a handle on the back with a removable filter for easy maintenance. 
Last but not least, we have the baby of the bunch, which is the Smart Heater Lite. This one is ultra compact and extremely portable while still packing many of the same features as its larger kin. Out of the three, it's certainly the most affordable, which does come with a few design differences. For one, rather than an LCD, there are lights under the different settings and modes, which are all located at the top. There are options for the five different modes and a timer. Of course, these can also be adjusted inside of the app where you'll find all of the same settings as the two other smart heaters. The biggest difference here is you won't find any lighting settings since the light model does not feature any special lighting effects. It also doesn't have any oscillation or an air deflector. What it does have is a little bracket that opens up on the bottom, which allows for 10 degrees of elevation. As for sound, it's the quietest of the three, producing levels lower than 37 decibels when in quiet mode, which is perfect to use while sleeping. Considering the price difference, this little guy is still a great option since the output is nearly just as good as the others. Plus, the ultra compact design makes it great if you work in a cold office since you can easily transport it back and forth. Like the others, the backside has a handle and a removable filter for easy maintenance and travel. Now let's switch gears and take a look at this. This is the Smart Air Purifier Lite. This little thing is awesome. It has all the same smart functionality as the space heaters. Once connected, you can switch to one of three different preset modes or the custom mode, which allows you to customize the fan strength in addition to the time that the fan will run at that specific level. There's also options for scheduling and setting timers inside of the app. You'll also be given an exact percentage remaining on the filter life so you know exactly when you need to maintenance it. Speaking of that, it's really easy. The air purifier simply twist apart. From here, you can remove the filter and easily clean it. Along with app control, you have physical controls on the top of the unit, which allows for power, mode switching, fan control, and a light that will alert you when the filter needs to be cleaned. There's a nice little handle on the backside that can also be doubled as a clip for mounting. Below the handle, there's a push to open tray for the included aroma pads. These can be used with essential oils, which means that the purifier doubles as a diffuser. I love this. As an air purifier, it features a dual channel 360 degree air intake design. This combined with the three in one HEPA filter means that this is great for hair, lint, fibers, and more. I've been using it in my kitchen for cooking odors since my wife loves to stink up our house with broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. This thing has been a lifesaver to my poor little nose. As for sound, it's very quiet with operational noise levels around 24 decibels when in sleep mode. Next up, we have the Smart Humidifier. This is something my wife loves since she's one of those essential oil witch people. Like with everything else mentioned, it features smart app and voice assistant control. It also works with auto reflect when paired with a thermo high grow meter and can automatically adjust the air humidity to a comfortable range without manual adjustments via auto mode and comfort mode, as long as you pick up that extra accessory. The Smart Humidifier features a three in one design. It's a humidifier, diffuser, and a nightlight. As a humidifier, it uses a three liter water tank and can output at eight different mist levels. It has an easy top fill design with an adjustable mist nozzle so you can position the mist wherever you want. As a diffuser, you can add your favorite essential oil to the base, not the water tank itself. This is important. And as a nightlight, you can select a single color, a scene, or create your own under the DIY section inside of the Govi app, giving you tons of options. The lighting effect is very subtle and soothing. It's perfect for using before bed or in a kid's room. Speaking of the app, you have full control of the other settings and modes as well, including setting limits to manual mode. Of course, you can always use the touch button on the front for quickly turning on and off the unit and switching to the different preset modes. I'm a big fan of the smart humidifier, especially after learning the health benefits. As someone that is always getting nosebleeds due to dry air, a cool mist humidifier not only helps with that, but also dry throats and clearing out nasal passages. Last but not least, we have the smart gooseneck kettle. This thing is awesome, and if you're a new parent, I can't recommend it enough. It's perfect for making formula bottles, pour over coffee, tea, ramen, and much, much more. Like everything else, this little guy is smart app and voice assistant compatible. It has one degree Fahrenheit accurate temperature control. You can create custom DIY presets within the app. When you do this, you'll see an option for infant formula. When this is toggled on, it will bring the water to a boil and then let it cool until the desired temperature has been achieved. 
To go along with the custom DIY presets, you can create custom brewing timers called brew stopwatch for different brewing methods. You can create schedules, toggle on the keep warm section, and more. Of course, you can always just make sure water is in the kettle and then start it by using your favorite voice assistant or through the app whenever you'd like. It's extremely fast at bringing water to a boil due to its rapid boil technology, which uses 1200 watts and heats 0.8 liters of water in only about three to five minutes. It has boil dry protection and auto shut off on board for safety. These will automatically switch to heating element off if it detects there's no water in the kettle. I've been wanting a smart kettle for a while. So when I saw Gobi decided to send this out, I was super pumped. And for the price, this one is an easy recommendation. It's built solid and pours very smooth. The base features controls for power and selecting one of the preset modes or the current DIY mode. You can also turn on the hold setting for keeping the water warm. Like I said, this thing is just dope. Okay, so there you have it. That's been a look at several awesome Gobi products that not only make great gifts, but are just fantastic additions to any household. Let me know what you think of everything mentioned in this video. Links to everything can be found in the description as well as the pinned comment. And outside of that, I hope everyone has a great Christmas and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.